For some insight on what a space shuttle mission is like, especially for astronauts' families, we turn to retired astronaut Dr. Jerry Leninger. He spent 132 days in space on a single mission. He's also a friend of Mark Kelly and Congresswoman Giffords. Jerry, good morning. Thanks good for morning. coming Good morning. Good morning. Let me ask you something. When it comes to these delays, who is that more nerve-wracking on, the astronauts or the families? You know, I think the families, and, and the families have a lot going, not just the immediate family, but relatives, friends. They all come down to the launch, 700,000 people at that yeah. last launch. And so they've got a lot of rearranging to do and everything else. So generally, I think the family, it, uh, it's a disappointment, obviously, to everyone and to the astronaut, but you kind of understand it could happen at sure. any time. Congresswoman Giffords is going to be there. Where will she be yeah. physically? In the physically, they always have, ever since Challenger, actually, we've taken the immediate families and put them in the launch control center. And from there, you can get up on the roof and actually see a great view. You're about two and a half miles away, and that's as close as you want to come mm -hmm. to something with seven million pounds of thrust that's going to go, <laughs> you know, Mach 25 in about seven minutes. Right. And so she's got a great view. They've got the video feeds. They always have an astronaut, another astronaut chosen by the family to be with her. Every family has the same thing, so you have someone there in case something does go wrong person you trust, yeah. a person that knows what's going on. You touch on this, but in any launch, even a, a launch that is not delayed, how stressful is this on the families to see their loved one in this, in this rocket ship? It's pretty yeah. hard. It's hard on mothers, too, I'll say that, sure, you know, the, but the it's very uh, stressful. On the other hand, I think Gabby, you know, she's seen a launch before. Right. I think she's going to feel the launch. If you go to a launch, it's, it's light, it's explosion, it's sound wave hitting you. And I think she's going to feel that and say, man, I've been here before. I think it's going to be a wonderful, nice moment yeah. for her to feel that again. Uh, on the scary factor, scary scale, concern scale, what would you rather hear as a family member or an astronaut? There's a weather delay or there's a technical delay, as we heard this time? Yeah, I think they're kind of equal. The, the weather, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, actually, the technical thing, the shuttle is built with incredible systems, and we've got a primary system, a backup system, a tertiary system, manual override, and so there's lots of things that can go wrong. For example, that last launch could have launched, everything would have probably worked mm -hmm. fine, but you want to go up with a vehicle that is 100% ready to go. We have backup APUs, but you'd rather have the backup in case something fails during the flight, and so you launch with a perfectly clean vehicle. You see Commander Mark Kelly there. I mean, you know more than anybody the physical and emotional toll this takes an astronaut to get ready for a mission like this. Given everything that's going on in his life, are you surprised that he's been able to get through this? Not really. He's, I'm an old Navy guy myself. He's an old naval aviator. He's been at the back end of aircraft carriers on stormy nights where you've got to focus and concentrate. And this is a heck of a mission, too. You know, we're not talking about the mission much. Uh, we're taking up an astrophysics laboratory, $2 mm -hmm. billion dollar laboratory attach it to the International Space Station. So Mark's got plenty to think about, about moving our country forward, moving the world forward, and you just have to sort of tuck things away. Uh, during my flight, I found out my wife was pregnant before I launched, and really? I was gone for five months. So, wow. you know, I, I was on the every woman's blacklist after that, after <laughs> leaving my wife for, you know, for five months in space, got wow. back with two weeks to go and had our second child. So, you know, life circumstances happen. You sort of compartmentalize them away and you concentrate on the mission. Mm. Jerry Lineker, thank you so much for your insight. Yeah, my Very pleasure. Nice talking to you, Russ. Nice talking to you as well.